Hey, I'm Roland. Today I'm going to show you some AI tools that make it easier to interact with the Lightning Wallet. So first is Goose, which is a local AI agent, um, and I've attached it to a hotkey. So I can start new sessions and chat with an AI agent, ask it questions. But the cool thing also is that Goose can interact directly with my Lightning Wallet. So make a 10 chat invoice. And it finds a tool to actually make the invoice interact with my wallet and generate an invoice. Now inside the Albi extension, I can pay this invoice. If I go back, was it paid? Yes. So how this works is a goose running on my laptop uh, through the power of Nostra Wallet Connect can seamlessly interact with my Lightning Wallet running in the cloud. And how Goose uses NWC is another open protocol called MCP, Model Context Protocol, which allows the AI agent to interact with simple tools and allow a human like me to just provide simple human language um, to interact with my wallet. So, for example, I can make an invoice, look up an invoice, uh, pay an invoice, and so forth. So, another cool thing is that we can use another AI agent built into my uh, IDE for doing programming. But in this case, I don't even write a single line of code. So, let's, let's try this. I've created a prompt in advance. And by using Klein connected to Google Gemini, I'll paste in this prompt and see what happens. So the first thing that it's doing is it's requesting the latest version of the README uh, for some tools to interact with the Lightning Network. And the reason why we do this is because AI is normally trained on historic data and sometimes it can just guess uh, and get things wrong. So by providing the actual readme, it knows how to use these tools. So now it's building the game itself. So we're making a simple endless runner game. And if you die, you can either pay to continue uh, from where you, where you left off, or otherwise you have to restart from scratch. And it will use Bitcoin Connect, which is a simple button that you can add to add to websites or a progressive web apps um, to be able to connect your Lightning Wallet to to any sort of website. Okay, I don't even know if it will work, but I'll just save it. Um, let's see. So Google Chrome, it just made a new index index file and here's the game so I made it so when you level up you'll get more jumps so now if I die here I can choose to restart from zero or let's see what happens if I click pay for now I won't connect my wallet um, I'll just pay the lightning invoice cool so unfortunately, it, it has a bug here that it didn't close the, the Bitcoin Connect dialog. I'll fix that. But let's, let's try again. So I managed to pay to keep playing at my current level. So this is pretty cool, right? I've been working on this repository, Lightning Vibe Coding with examples for simple HTML, like the endless runner game I just made, but also other, other more complicated examples, for example, with the server to generate invoices and the client um, to pay them, for example, a coin flip game to earn more if you guess correctly. I even made a command line interface for Nostra Wallet Connect. 
So you just give it a connection secret and you can interact via command line interface. And I'll be adding more over time. And I've kind of added how how we make sure that the LLM uses the latest version of the Lightning projects in Nostra Wallet Connect and also some example LLMs that you can use. So now normal developers can speed up their workflow by not having to code or even non-developers who just want to make, have, they have this nice lightning idea, but they don't know how to easily add Bitcoin lightning payments. With these simple prompts, um, as a guide, you can make uh, cool applications. So I'm just going to um, stage this in old. We had this bug before, right? So I'm just going to say when I paid the confetti showed but Bitcoin Connect did not update. Can you make sure the pre-image is passed to Bitcoin Connect when it's paid? Let's see if it can fix this bug. I accidentally didn't save Klein, so it has to write from scratch. That's, that's my mistake. So we can check the diff and it just updates Bitcoin Connect. We'll see if this works. Cool. It works now, but the game doesn't give me time to actually play. So um, I'll do another prompt. After registering the payment, wait, and showing confetti, wait for a few seconds so that the Bitcoin connect dialog closes. Also slow the game down a bit. It's too hard. Cool. So I think it's going to wait two seconds. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, the game's way easier now. Um, so I died. I'll make the payment. And it gave me time, but I made a mistake. So let's try again. Uh, this time I'm going to connect my wallet just to make it a bit easier so I don't have to copy copy and paste invoices. Cool. Uh, so now I have this simple game. Um, I've added Bitcoin Lightning payments and I didn't write a single line of code. So this is this is pretty cool. We can look at the prompt. So all of this is just saying how the game should work. It's an endless runner game. You get more double jumps if you if your level goes up. Um, the obstacles should get more difficult. 
um, and what happens when the player dies. So here is the the prompt that I used to connect the Lightning Wallet. So what happens is when I die, we request an invoice from me, the game owner, so that I get revenue from the game that I made. And once the invoice is paid, I'll show the confetti. And the user with Bitcoin Connect can either uh, connect their wallet or they can pay externally like I did with copying an invoice. And here is what I mentioned before, that we make sure we fetch the latest information about the library. Uh, so yeah, you can basically almost one shot or you can fix um, minor bugs. Maybe we can try an an another example. Um, or maybe you can even create a game yourself.